because of the pandemic, and this is one of the silver lining, is that I, I didn't have to be in person when I was teaching or during research. So I thought, um, and also, but here's the thing, I also couldn't travel to Europe and do any archive, archival research. So I said, I have to change my uh, direction. And so I found Connecticut. So I was actually uh, made, I, I actually made the arrangement of being an intern at Zuckerman Harpsichord um, in Stonington, Connecticut for two months. And right now I'm pretty close to a finish line of making my first Harpsichord. Wow. So that is something I'm very excited about. And, and basically I've been that stage for a couple months now. I mean, I was doing some more, you know, sanding and putting molding on, but like the case has been assembled a while ago, but the next stage, and this is what freaks me out the most is painting. So I, 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 I promise I was like, I'm going to do this as much as I can on my own. And I am an amateur paint painter. So you might be able to see some of my painting right there. So mm -hmm. I've been, practicing painting in 17th century Flemish style. So once I put it on the soundboard, then I can put the rest of the hard circle together. So that makes me tick at the, you know, these couple months. And that, that is my deadline. This summer, I'm going to finish the harpsichord. 